It's official. Tesla's 50,000-ton gigapress has arrived, and it's rewriting manufacturing history. This monster machine just did what seemed impossible, casting an entire car body in 90 seconds, a process that used to take 10 to 12 hours with thousands of parts welded together. One solid aluminum piece. No joints, no welds, no assembly lines full of workers. But here's what's really shaking the industry. If Tesla can now produce the Model 2's frame faster than you can order coffee, how will Ford, GM, or Toyota even compete? Let's dive right in. To understand why this machine matters, we need to talk about pressure. 50,000 tons of force is the equivalent of stacking 25 fully loaded Boeing 747s on top of each other. When this machine activates, the entire factory floor shakes. Workers standing 50 feet away feel the vibration through their boots. And this happens every 90 seconds, creating perfect car frames with precision that used to require days of human labor. The fascinating part isn't just the scale, but how Tesla got here. Back in 2019, when Elon Musk first mentioned large-scale die casting, automotive engineers called it impractical. Traditional wisdom said you couldn't control temperature variations and pressure inconsistencies at such massive scale. Toyota had spent 70 years perfecting their assembly line process. Why would anyone abandon that proven system? But Tesla saw what others missed. Every welded joint in a traditional car is a potential weak point. Every bolt adds weight and complexity. The Model Y's rear underbody alone required 70 separate metal parts, dozens of welding robots, and hours of assembly time. Tesla's first 6,000-ton gigapress collapsed that entire process into one three-minute operation, creating a single aluminum casting that was stronger than the welded alternative. Production costs dropped 40% overnight. Factory space requirements were cut in half. That success triggered an arms race within Tesla's engineering team. Each iteration pushed boundaries further, 9,000 tons, then 12,000 tons. But even at 12,000 tons, Tesla was still building cars in sections that had to be joined together. The inefficiency bothered Musk. If you could cast large sections, why not cast the entire frame in one piece? That question led to the 50,000-ton monster we're seeing today. The engineering behind this process is genuinely impressive. When aluminum reaches 700 degrees Celsius, it transforms into flowing liquid. This superheated material gets pumped through insulated pipelines into a precision machined mold that's been pre-cooled to exact specifications. Timing is everything. Pour too early and the mold isn't ready. Pour too late and the aluminum solidifies in the pipes. Tesla's system hits the perfect window every time through thousands of sensors monitoring temperature, flow rate, and pressure down to the millisecond. What happens next is pure physics pushed to its limit. The moment molten aluminum enters the mold, hydraulic systems unleash 50,000 tons of force. But this isn't just brute force. The pressure must be distributed perfectly across every square inch, or you get weak spots and structural failures. Tesla's solution involves real-time pressure monitoring at over 50 different points simultaneously, with AI algorithms making micro-adjustments faster than any human could react. The vacuum casting system is particularly clever. Before the molten aluminum enters, powerful pumps create a near-perfect vacuum inside the mold, removing virtually all air molecules. This matters because trapped air creates porosity, tiny bubbles that become weak points under stress. A car frame with internal air pockets might look perfect, but could fail catastrophically during a collision years later. By casting in a vacuum environment, 
Tesla ensures their frames are solid aluminum all the way through, with strength exceeding traditional welded structures by significant margins. The cooling phase reveals another layer of sophistication. Rapid cooling creates internal stresses that weaken the metal. Slow cooling kills production speed. Tesla's proprietary cooling system uses precision temperature control, solidifying the aluminum at optimal speed. Within 45 seconds, the metal transforms from liquid to solid. When the mold opens at the 90-second mark, a robotic arm extracts a completed frame weighing roughly 180 pounds but capable of withstanding forces that would crumple conventional car bodies. Now, let's address what this really means for the automotive industry. Traditional car manufacturing requires enormous capital investment, massive factories, and hundreds of workers per production line. A typical automotive assembly plant employs 3,000 to 4,000 people, producing maybe 200,000 vehicles per year. The Model Y production line with Gigapress technology operates with a fraction of that workforce and produces comparable volumes in significantly less factory space. The economics aren't just better, they're fundamentally different. Consider the cost breakdown. Every traditional car body requires approximately 1,000 to 1,200 individual parts. Each must be designed, manufactured by suppliers, shipped, inventoried, and installed. Every step adds cost, time, and opportunities for error. Quality control becomes a nightmare because even a 0.1% defect rate means problems in every vehicle. Tesla's approach with the 50,000-ton Gigapress reduces that part count by roughly 90%. Fewer parts mean fewer suppliers, less inventory, smaller warehouses, and dramatically simplified logistics. But the real revolution isn't about saving money on parts. It's about what becomes possible when you can iterate designs rapidly. In traditional manufacturing, changing a car's body design is a multi-year, multi-billion dollar undertaking. You need to retool entire factories, redesign assembly lines, and retrain thousands of workers. This is why conventional automakers plan production runs of five to seven years. They need that time to recoup tooling investments. With die-casting technology, Design changes mean swapping molds, new frame design deployed in weeks instead of years. This gives Tesla an agility that traditional manufacturers simply cannot match. The global reaction tells you everything about its significance. When Tesla demonstrated the 50,000-ton Gigapress, it was met with panic. China's BYD immediately announced plans to develop comparable die-casting capabilities. Toyota, a company that invented lean manufacturing, publicly admitted they're exploring large-scale casting for future models. This is Toyota essentially saying their legendary production system, refined over 70 years, needs fundamental rethinking to stay competitive. European manufacturers are moving even faster. Volkswagen has begun discussions with die-casting suppliers. BMW and Mercedes are reportedly investing billions in next-generation manufacturing technology. Ford and GM have launched substantial R&D programs. The message is clear. If you can't manufacture EVs as efficiently as Tesla, you can't compete on price. And if you can't compete on price, you're finished in the mass-market EV segment. The strategic implications for Tesla's product line are equally significant. The company has been promising a $25,000 electric vehicle for years, and analysts questioned the economics. How do you make EVs affordable when battery costs are high and traditional manufacturing is expensive? The 50,000-ton Gigapress is the answer. By manufacturing the Model 2's frame in 90 seconds with minimal labor and dramatically reduced part counts, Tesla can hit that $25,000 price point while maintaining healthy profit margins.
This isn't about making EVs for wealthy early adopters anymore. This is about making electric vehicles genuinely accessible to average consumers, which could accelerate EV adoption by a decade. Perhaps most importantly, this technology gives Tesla something no other automaker currently possesses, the ability to operate factories with minimal human intervention. Musk's vision for factories that build themselves becomes reality with the 50,000-ton gigapress as its cornerstone. When you combine large-scale die-casting with AI-controlled quality systems and robotic handling, you create production facilities operating 24 hours a day with skeletal crews primarily focused on monitoring rather than direct manufacturing. The question keeping automotive executives awake isn't whether they can copy Tesla's approach. With enough investment, they probably can. The real question is whether they can do it fast enough. Tesla has a five-year head start, billions in manufacturing infrastructure already built, and engineering teams that have been refining this process through multiple generations. By the time competitors deploy their first large-scale die-casting operations, Tesla will likely be two or three iterations ahead, further widening the efficiency gap. Tesla's 50,000-ton gigapress just answered our opening question. Traditional automakers can't compete with 90-second manufacturing when they're still using 10-hour assembly lines. The gap isn't closing, it's widening. While competitors plan for the future, Tesla is already producing Model 2 frames that will bring $25,000 EVs to millions. That's not hype, that's reality. This proves the EV revolution isn't about batteries anymore. It's about who manufactures faster, cheaper, and better. Tesla just won that race. What happens when competitors finally build mega presses in 2027? Will it be too late? Drop your prediction in the comments. I read every one. If this analysis gave you clarity on where manufacturing is heading, smash that like button. Subscribe to Tech Revolution for deep dives on innovations changing our world. No hype, just facts you can trust. Hit the notification bell so you catch what's next because Tesla's already working on something bigger. The revolution is here. 50,000 tons, 90 seconds, and it's just getting started.